Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Although not everywhere has been sunny this week, the weather has been fairly quiet. Benign because of this area of high pressure that has been sitting effectively in the same place towards the southwest of the UK during the last few days. And it's been stationary because the jet stream is highly amplified at the moment, very wavy across the Atlantic. It's dipping to the south there around this big low and then ridging to the north around this big high. And when the jet stream is amplified like this, highs and lows become very slow moving. Now, if I fast forward to the start of next week, you'll see that the jet stream is still highly amplified. But there's one key difference. We're now much closer to an area of low pressure. The whole pattern has shifted slightly further east. And that's because, if we go back to the time of recording, the area of low pressure out in the Atlantic becomes a little bit smaller for a time. That allows the whole pattern, the jet stream, to come flatter and it allows some movement west to east. But then this low pressure becomes bigger again and the jet stream becomes more amplified once again. And that means that whilst the low pressure becomes closer to the UK, the whole pattern slows down so that once this low pressure turns up to the west, it may stick around for some days next week. Back to the time being though, and it's not entirely high pressure that's in control of our weather at the moment. This low will have some influence, pushing as it does into Scandinavia on Thursday. It sends a weather front, sends some wet and windy weather through Scotland from the north, and then that moves south across the UK by the start of Friday. By this stage, the weather front is really dying away and it's no more than a few spots of rain and an area of cloud. But it marks a temperature contrast with frosty night to come on Thursday night across northern parts of the UK, a milder night further south. But a cloudy day, I think, for many southern areas on Friday as that front stalls and a few spots of rain, but much milder, 18 Celsius in the far southwest, whilst colder conditions further north but blue skies for much of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, perhaps as far south as North Wales, the Midlands and East Anglia. A beautiful afternoon to come, despite a colder feel. Another frosty one, I think, for some places in the north on Friday night, especially in rural spots. But by Saturday, the weather front that I mentioned, it pushes that area of cloud back northeastwards across the country. And so... Through the day on Saturday, many places turning cloudier again, a few spots of rain, but nothing substantial. Most places through much of the day on Saturday will be dry. It will again be mild in the southwest, 17 Celsius, colder further northeast. But by the end of Saturday, some wet weather pushes into Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. That then crosses the country as a weakening feature on Saturday night, it runs into high pressure so that by the time it gets into southeast England, it's no more than an area of cloud. And Sunday again, for many, is looking largely dry, but there will be a lot of cloud around, some low cloud, especially towards the southwest, and the potential for another band of rain to affect northern and western Scotland. But it's turning milder. You can see those temperatures up a degree or two in many places. And that's because the Atlantic is starting to have a bit more of an influence on Sunday, but even more so for the start of next week as this low becomes ever closer. And that low will send an increasingly strong southwesterly wind across the UK. Southwesterlies are normally mild and moist, but this one could even contain some subtropical moisture and, as a result, the risk of some very heavy rain in western parts of the UK, some impactful wet weather for the start of next week. Also, the energy from that could cause some very strong winds for the start of next week as that low edges even closer to northwestern parts of the UK. And this is how much of next week looks. An amplified jet stream with that low close to the northwest and sticking around for some days to bring us bouts of wind and rain, especially across western and northwestern parts of the country. And some of that wind and rain could cause impacts. Later next week, the signs are that the low will gradually move towards Scandinavia. The whole pattern becomes a little bit flatter once again. And if this happens, it's still going to be quite changeable. We'll still see some rain at times, but not quite as wet, not quite as mild, not quite as windy, perhaps. That's really not until Friday and Saturday of the following week. And this is the temperature trend. It shows it quite nicely for around the middle part of the UK. The red boxes indicate daytime temperatures, the blue boxes indicate overnight minimum, and the date there out to the next two weeks is shown on the bottom. And you can see the average red line there, 
and the red boxes just dipping below average for Friday and Saturday, but then going way above average for the start of next week as those southwesterly winds deliver that mild and moist air. Then trending back to, if not slightly below average for the end of next week, and similar for the overnight temperatures, so a frost potentially for northern parts of the UK on Thursday night and into Friday night, and then generally frost-free with those milder winds from the southwest before trending back towards average for later next week. But overall, we replace high pressure with low pressure. That means it's going to turn milder, wetter and windier, particularly for the start of next week with the risk of impacts from that wind and rain. But a trend towards perhaps less wet, less mild weather later next week. And of course, you can find much more detail on social media if you follow us on these channels. But for now, that's all from me. Bye bye.